Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Riley Lane and if you are new here, please hit that little subscribe button down there. And if you do enjoy this video, make sure to give me a big thumbs up, please. So, I mean, I would love to put you down. I'm just like, I'm a bit of a mess right now, to be honest. So, I realize this whole thing has happened in my life and I haven't really shared any of it with you, like any at all. <laughs> So I'm just going to give a super quick intro and then we're going to get into the moving. So as you know, if you've been following my journey here in London, I moved over here with two of my friends and I live with them in this flat here, but unfortunately they have made the decision to move back to Australia. So I um, need to move and find a new place. So I've kind of been flat hunting for maybe the past like three or four weeks. It's been pretty tough and I've seen some pretty horrible places i'm not gonna lie um but i have found one now i'm in the middle of getting my referencing check done so i haven't actually signed my lease yet but i mean i can't imagine i would not pass a referencing check i've, I've got everything that they need um and then i should sign my lease and today is saturday the sorry it's saturday the 6th of april and i'm hoping to move next saturday which is the 13th of april so i have such a busy week ahead i've got so much going on at work and yeah just heaps going on i'm all busy all day tomorrow like sunday so today is my real main day where i want to get like most of my packing done but mind you what time is it? It's 3.47 and I am going, like I've got stuff, I've got plans and stuff tonight and I'm probably gonna have to like leave in like two hours. So I've just kind of like randomly started packing and I just wanted to like, I wanted to bring you guys on this journey because I know that you really enjoyed me, like enjoyed my vlogs of me moving over here and now this is like another big journey of me moving flat. So that's my deal right now. I'm gonna show you where I'm at. It's a bit of a disaster. I don't technically have that much stuff, but I'm just like, I feel like I'm just all over the place. And like, cause I'm not moving for another week. I'm like, do I just like pack all this stuff up? I'm like, but still, I still need it during the week. I'm not really sure. Steph and Ben, my other flatmates, aren't actually here this week. They are away. So that's kind of good in a way because it means I can just kind of have my shit everywhere and it's not in the way for them. I've got, like, stuff going on in the lounge room. I've got stuff going on in the kitchen. I'm probably going to have, like, shit all down the hallway because my room is, like, too small to, like, fit anything in, really. By the way, I'm moving into a beautiful, like, big room so much bigger than this like little shoe box I live in right now I've loved this room and it's been really nice and I've loved this flat and stuff but I'm definitely ready to move into a bigger place and I'm moving in with random people that I don't know but I think that's super exciting because it's gonna I'm gonna meet new people and make so many more new friends so yes I'm gonna stop rambling let me show you what my situation is right now so this is the current situation of my room. I've started packing some clothes in there. I'm just going to pack most of my stuff in these like plasticky type bag things because it's just so much easier to carry and I hopefully, fingers crossed, I don't have that much stuff. Still got to go through my wardrobe and that's a situation. Um, and then everything else in here is just a mess. Then... In the kitchen, what am I going? I've started to like pack up a whole bunch of food and stuff that I want to take. So there's all that going. I'm doing laundry because I'm kind of um, planning to like wash all my clothes before I'm packing them. So then when I get there, it's all nice and clean and stuff. At the moment, I'm washing all of my knitwear. Um, I, to be honest, I've never washed them myself. <laughs> my mum's washed them for me before. <laughs> so fingers crossed like that goes well because I would hate to like ruin my knitwear. But Seeing as like it's getting to summer, even though it does not look like it's summer outside, but you know, the weather's getting warmer and stuff, I'm not really wearing my knits that much. So I'm gonna wash them and then hopefully they'll just go into storage. I've like washed my towels, ready to pack those. And then this is a bag of stuff I'm throwing out. Then I've opened my suitcase there because I have heaps of packing cubes and stuff. So I'm hoping to like use the packing cubes to pack as well to make everything a bit more organized and stuff. These are my storage things that were under my bed. Um, my new bed, I don't think has space underneath it. It's like a bed base, but I'm gonna bring them anyway. See if I can use them somewhere because I do have an extra storage room. So that might be good if I need to store things to leave them in there. And that's all my snow gear that I have to figure out what to do with. I'm thinking I might pack it around some because I've got a few glass jars and stuff from the kitchen that I need to bring. So I might 
pack that with those glass things because it's like super padded and puffy and then hopefully they won't break. So that's my situation. I'm honestly just gonna keep going till I have to get ready to go out tonight and then I'm probably gonna slowly pack. Sorry, let me turn you around. Probably then gonna slowly pack just throughout the week when I can find some time, maybe before work a little bit and just, yeah, literally when I can randomly find the time to do that. And then I'm moving next Saturday. Crazy, I can't believe that. Um, and I guess you're probably just as shocked as I am because I haven't really sent, I haven't brought you guys on this journey at all. It honestly happened so fast and I was in so much like shock because it wasn't like something I was really expecting. I was kind of dealing with that on my own, but we're super into it now and I'm excited to be moving house. I don't know where to put this. I'm too tired to hold it up. Okay, guys. I don't think I've spoken to you since last weekend. So it's now Friday the 12th? Friday the 12th of April. I have had a crazy, super busy, super like... I don't know what the word, right word is for it. Like emotional week, I guess. Um... At my job, half of my team has been made redundant and today actually was their last day. So we've been kind of celebrating all week. We had like been going out for drinks, had like a really nice dinner and stuff last night um, to say goodbye to them. And honestly, it was just a really, really sad day for me today just saying like goodbye to them. Like I feel like I could almost like cry <laughs> talking about it now. Um, anyway, so at the moment I'm just feeling like super like emotionally drained. Like I just like would love to curl up in my bed and go to sleep, but I can't do that, can I? Um, but on another exciting news, I just went and signed my lease like about an hour ago. I got my keys, but I realize they're in the other room and I really can't bother getting up to get them. Um, so it's Friday, what time is it? 4.13, I basically have all of tonight to pack up everything and get it ready for tomorrow morning. So I have a van coming to pick up all of my stuff at 11 a.m. tomorrow. I'm going through a company called Addison Lee. It's kind of like technically a same day courier service. So they will come to my house, pick up my stuff kind of as if it was a delivery they'll like go on like a little route or whatever to pick up and drop off other stuff and then they will drop my things off before 5 p.m i'm pretty sure so i don't actually know what time my stuff will arrive at my new place but it was just one of the easiest options for me because i didn't want to try to like hire a van or a bigger car or something and drive through london and I, that was just no i was like i don't want to do that I don't really have enough stuff that I need, like, a full-on, like, removalist and, like, people to help me and stuff. Um, like, I'll be able to carry all my own... I live on the second floor here, so I'll be able to carry all my own stuff down stairs like myself that's fine um so yeah that's what i've gone with i will let you know when i move to the new place if that all like goes smoothly and if i recommend you should do that because i know that a lot of people a lot of you guys watch these videos because you live in london and if you do have to move i think it's a really good option it's only costing me 30 pounds which i think is pretty good um i don't really know how far the distance is and so i'm still living in like the same part of London um but I'm moving like quite a few suburbs away I guess I don't I don't really know how to like give a distance on that uh, I'm sorry I can't really help but anyway <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna like hopefully I'm gonna put some music on and just like try and smash out a bunch of packing I just feel like I really don't want to do this right now but I'm so exhausted and just so emotionally drained because I've had just a really sad day um but yeah I mean that's really out of life you just have to do things when you don't want them when you're an adult it's not that fun sometimes but that's okay I'm excited to move into my new place tomorrow so I will sleep there tomorrow night my flatmates here I still will still be in this place for like another two or maybe two, three weeks maybe two and a half weeks I'm not really sure um, so luckily in case I leave anything here or I can't take it all or whatever, I, do, like, I still can come back here. So that's okay. Um, anyways, that's my update. I'm going to go pack and I'll show you what I, I'll probably show you at the end what I managed to do because it's still exactly the same as I showed you last weekend because I haven't touched it all week. Ah, uh, good morning guys. I... 
I want to say I literally just woke up. I didn't. I've probably been awake for like almost an hour now. I was just FaceTiming my mom. Um, but it's now Saturday morning. I didn't show you anything else from last night because honestly, I was just so dead. I think I fell asleep before like even 8.30 and yeah, I actually did a bit more packing though, which is good. I'll show you. Um, I just did a bit and then I just literally crashed. I was just so dead. Um, this is my situation. Holy shit. I have so much stuff. At the moment we have these four bags, which are all clothes and that's pretty much all of my clothes. I just have one last load of washing that I did last night, um, but it wasn't a full load, so it should all fit in there. So that's all my clothes, all in there. That is my little suitcase, like my carry-on size suitcase, and I just have a bunch of like kitchen stuff in there. See, there's glass jars. The other side is a whole bunch of other glass jars and glass bottles and things like that. So I've just kind of put them in there with like my snow stuff. So hopefully that will act as like padding. I really didn't want to have to like go and get extra stuff you know what I mean? To like pack it all. So that was my plan. Hopefully it works. I guess we'll see. If any of that smashes, it's going to be an absolute disaster because most of the jars have stuff in them. Then that is my normal suitcase. So just to put this in context, I came over with that suitcase and that suitcase and just a pretty small box from my um, unboxing video thing, if you saw that, which wasn't very big. And now I have, this isn't all of it. I've still got other stuff in the kitchen. So yeah, that is just a suitcase. That's mainly like Honestly, that's really random stuff. That's like toiletries in there. That's like um, stationary type stuff. Like I've got just a few books and there's like cards and stuff people have sent me. That's all my camera stuff and there's other electronic stuff in there. That's like a loving tan box with a whole bunch of loving tan plus other random things. I was like, I really want to take this box. So I just kind of tried to fit everything else. <laughs> then um, I'm not taking that, Juno. That's our spare one. Um, but this is just a few other random things. I don't know what I'm going to do with my bedding. I'm, those are like underneath bed boxes. And now I'm kind of thinking I'm going to have to reopen them and put my bedding in there because I don't have any more bags. Then let's run to the kitchen. Then left in here, I just have, that is all my kitchen stuff. It's so a whole bunch of food. I'm taking like a bunch of containers and like my blender and things like that. That was the load of washing I'm talking about. I've got all of these containers that I want to take because I do really like to meal prep and um, like make my lunches and stuff on the weekends for work. Then I just have like a bunch of things here. These are like backpacks and that's my coat that I'll wear. But I think that's basically everything. I haven't really gone through the bathroom, but I don't have much stuff in there. Just kind of like my shower things and like my toothbrush and stuff like that. Um, but besides that, there's not really anything left in my room. Just like a few odd bits plus my bedding. Um, oh, I also have this plant that I need to take, but I'm not going to put that in the courier service. I'm going to carry that myself because I don't want it to get broken or hurt. Um, oh, I also have my scoby, this guy up here. I'm trying, trying is the word I'm going to use. Sorry, my hair is like literally a mess. To make my own kombucha. Um, and that is my scoby, but I've just been so busy. I haven't been able to break that brew. So that is like probably non-drinkable now. It's been brewing for too long now to be too vinegary. Um, but I'm going to take that with me. I have no idea what I'm going to do with that because that's like really, um, the scoby and all like the live cultures and stuff is quite sensitive. So I'm probably gonna have to carry that myself as well. Um, but I think that's everything. I'm just gonna, I think it's like 7.30 a.m. I woke up so early, but I just go to bed at like 8.30 last night because I was just exhausted. Um, I'm just gonna continue doing everything. I'm gonna make some yummy breakfast. I also need to clean because I don't really want to leave the house in like a messy state. I've just got to vacuum and wipe down the like kitchen and everything. I think that's it. So I'm just gonna get on with everything and this vlog is probably gonna end up being really long, isn't it? Um... Yes, I'll probably show you when I'm all packed up and ready for the courier. All right, guys, I finished packing all my stuff up and oh my God. This is everything. Hold on. I feel like when you get from this edge, you can see how much I actually have. So that little suitcase, I have five of these bags, that big suitcase, these two things that are meant to go under my bed, but are now holding all my bedding and that massive Ikea bag. I have collected all of this stuff in seven months. That's literally <laughs> insane. I'm in so much shock. But it's 9.30 now. The courier is coming at 11. I still got a bit of cleaning to do and I haven't eaten yet, so I'm gonna make some breakfast. Um, and that's about it.
then I'm gonna move. Hey guys, it is now like so much later in the afternoon. I realized I just missed a whole chunk of stuff to vlog. Um, I got to my new place and I've met my new housemates and stuff and I was kind of just chatting to them and then I was like, oh, I should start unpacking and I've kind of unpacked most of it. But I'll give you a little view of the room. So that's my door. I've got like a hook hanging thing there so I will hang stuff on there. A cute little mirror. Hey. Um, then this is kind of like empty space. I've got a huge massive wardrobe so I've got all my stuff hanging there and some drawers at the bottom with more clothes. Then I have this desk which is just piled with stuff that I need to deal with. Um, then these set of drawers which will be a mix of clothes and like my makeup and toiletries and stuff. Um, I still have this whole suitcase to sort out. I've pretty much put away all my clothes but I have left like this is all like makeup and toiletries and electronic stuff. And I've kind of just put my shoes here because I didn't really have another place. And then there's also like all this shelving up here but I don't really know what I'm going to put on that. The old housemate like left this stuff. I have a fireplace but I don't think you actually use it. Um, and then that's my old set of drawers that I had from home. And then this is my bed. So yeah, that is my room. I'm just going to continue unpacking and I'm probably going to end this video here because there isn't really much more to say. I've moved, I'm in my new place and hopefully everything goes well. I really, yeah, my housemates seem super nice so that is really good. Um, and yeah, that's about all I have for this video. So I hope you enjoyed my little move and I'll speak to you in the next one. I love you all. Bye!